I'd like to welcome you to Perioscopy Incorporated. Um, we are making a series of videos on YouTube that will work with our website to provide you with as much information as possible about this technology. Let's talk about the Perioscope. It magnifies the root 24 to 48 times, so it's quite substantial and um, more than my loops and more than the microscope that I use. It can reduce the need for surgical access. In our practice, we pretty much have eliminated periodontal surgery for treating periodontal disease at this point. It is technically demanding. It's a two-handed technique using both feet. It's kind of like playing um, a video game and um, in fact we're going to be incorporating some video training into the training that we do at UCSF for the uh, perio grads. Is it expensive? Initially it was pretty expensive but um, at this point um, you can buy used equipment and um, we are pending working on the next version of the periodontal endoscope or the perioscope. The perioscope has uh, two main features, um, an MCU or a master control unit and then also a um, explore fiber sheath complex. And there's definitely more detail on the explore fiber sheath con complex on the lower right um, as well as image interpretation. Um, with the MCU on other videos. But basically it's a one millimeter diameter flexible endoscope that fits into an explorer that goes into the subgingival area. The image that you t typically see is um, depicted here on the left circular image. There's a shield that pushes the gum out of the way so you always see that in front of the camera. You'll see, you can see soft tissue and then you can also see the root surface. A lot of times calculus will show up golden, yellow, or white because the light is so bright that you just don't see the stain that's inside the calculus. Um, but it's pretty obvious as to what is calculus and what is root surface and this depicts the CEJ. So this um, explore fiber sheath complex goes into the sulcus and looks at the root surface. Dental View was the company that started this um, perioscopy and is no longer in business. Um, perioscopy Incorporated is now continuing with this technology and I'm John Kwan. I'm a periodontist in Oakland, Berkeley area of California and now the president and CEO of Perioscopy Incorporated. This is a cross-section of the endoscope fiber. This one millimeter diameter fiber has 20 different separate fibers inside of it. There are 19 illuminating light guides surrounding a 10,000 pixel image guide. Candidates for endoscopy are people who need initial therapy and this is a very definitive type of initial therapy and this is what we typically do. Post initial therapy is where um, you may have had some tactile debridement, um, non-surgical periodontal debridement and you have um, sites that don't respond and then you can scope those sites, scope debride those sites. Patients who decline surgery, and there are plenty of those. Patients where surgery is contraindicated either for medical reasons or aesthetics like the um, aesthetic zone. Maintenance patients that have chronically inflamed pockets or increasing pockets. Suspected subgingival pathology such as caries, root fractures, resorption, perforations. Subgingival microultrasonic endoscopic periodontal debridement. It's kind of a long term, but that's what we do every day. 
We started this in October of 2001 and have done well over a thousand cases in our office between the hygienists, two hygienists, and myself. And we've, I probably have personally cleaned well over 10,000 teeth endoscopically. I do full mouth treatments averaging 90 to 120 minutes and I treat moderate to advanced periodontal disease. The hygiene staff treats um, in 90 to 120 minute appointments typically doing full mouth treatment. We really don't seem to split the treatment up anymore because our hygienists are so efficient that we can get it done in one appointment and they treat moderate periodontal disease and maybe localized advanced sites. Periodontal endoscopy requires a desire to learn, focused attention, practice, and patience. And most of all, it requires a commitment to all four of these. It's not a simple discipline to learn, and you really have to want to be there. But once you are, and you're doing periodontal endoscopy efficiently, it's an amazing service that we can provide for our patients. Endoscopic instrumentation, we teach the two-handed technique. You put your endoscope in the left hand, assuming your right hand dominant, and the instrument in your right hand. You move together around the tooth and rarely view instrument view. So you position the endoscope and your instrument in the mouth by looking in the mouth, then you look at the screen and start endoscopically cleaning. We don't recommend switching hands where you would put the endoscope in with your dominant hand then switch and hold it with your non-dominant hand pick up your instrument and then start working. It's um, really inefficient to do that and then certainly using only one hand where you're looking and then putting the scope down then cleaning then picking up the scope. You should try to limit your instruments. We use typically one instrument. Use powered instrumentation. The, use the two-handed technique. Keep three instruments in both hands and view an instrument at the same time. You should try to be proficient with your dominant hand, which involves maybe eating with your non-dominant hand, practicing using chopsticks with both your hands, or practice dentistry. It's not like we don't use our non-dominant hand all the time with a mirror. Other recommendations, I recommend wearing loops. You're not wearing loops looking at the screen of the master control unit, but you are wearing loops to look in the mouth and when you can see better, your movements are just more precise. Use a chair with armrests. Think ergonomics, comfort, and here it is again, patience. Practice breathing and stretch. Endoscopic debridement should be primarily view while instrumenting. Rarely view instrument view. The reason for doing this technology is to see what you are doing, not just to see what you've done.